Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome back to the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel and the Vintage Love YouTube Hop. Make sure you check out the description box below for all the information on the hop. And don't forget to check out all of our amazing design team member videos. Okay, let's get this hop started with the Eternal Love stamp set from Don Holslegel. It has coordinating dies, beautiful florals, the lovely layout posted die set. I'm going to use this large A2 size die like a postcard. The postmark stamp and die set. I'm going to use a couple of the small pieces in here to create like a little stamp. And so I am going to get started with my die cuts first. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to use the lovely layout posted die set. I'm going to take that large die and I'm going to create a card that looks like a traditional size postcard. And I'm going to decorate my postcard with uh, one of Dawn's beautiful florals. Now I'm also going to use this uh, postmarked stamp and die set for some of the little elements that will go on my postcard. So I'm going to get started by die cutting my paper, but before I do that, I kind of want to decide, get the lay of the land here and decide which of these little floral bunches that I want to use from Dawn's stamp set. So I'm just going to hold this up. Now on a traditional postcard, you would have like a little scene on one side or some beautiful florals or something like that. So I think I am going to use the morning glories for from this set. I think it'll be really beautiful on this postcard, but you can see how all of Dawn's florals are going to fit perfectly for this idea that I have to make a traditional size postcard. So I'm going to take my little morning glories here. You can see I have cut the little stamp shape um, out of just cream colored cardstock. And I'm going to stamp the morning glories onto this craft cardstock. Now I'm trying to line this up because I want there to be an area over to the right where traditionally there would be like the return address or you could write a little message. And so I'm leaving that side open. Now I'm going to add the cute little bird from the postmarked stamp set onto that stamp. And so I'm just going to pretend that I'm making a little birdie stamp. Now I can ink these things up all together and stamp them down. I had arranged them all on that craft cardstock and I have the little postcard. I cannot pronounce that cart postal. I'm not that fancy. I have the little bird. I have special delivery. And then I added a sentiment from Dawn set that says, so thankful for you. Now I stamped those in VersaFine Onyx Black ink just so they would be nice and crisp in that deep dark black. I am going to heat set all of these items. That ink stays wet a little longer than other inks and so I just want to make sure that it's really good and dry before I start doing any of the coloring. Now I'm going to use my colored pencils to color in these beautiful morning glories and I am going to start out by shading everything in in a white pencil. That's just going to give a base coat of that or like a waxy layer to the paper and it's going to make it so much easier to blend my greens and blues for the morning glories and also it's going to make those colors pop a little bit more. Now once I get my all over base coat of the white uh, pencil, then I can go in with my lightest green. I'm going to do all of the leaves first. So I color them all in with the lightest green. And then I'm taking a kind of a medium color green and starting to do my blending up from the bottom where you would get uh, most of the deeper color and shadows and then blending that up towards the tip of each leaf. After I have colored everything in with my medium green, I can then go in with the darker and then add the really deep, nice uh, shadows and get lots of variation in those colors. Now here is a close up look at pretty much the finished leaves. You can see where I have followed the stamp lines. I've added the little ridges and curls in those leaves. Um, 
that you can see the little indentions and things up towards the tip of the leaf and I've added the darker green there to really accentuate the curls and the little folds and things that would be in the leaf. Now I'm just going to take a yellow pencil and color in the center of my morning glories and I'll darken this up later on and then I can start really coloring in with the blues. When I started the morning glories, I started with the darkest first. I kind of wanted to get the lay of the land on the little petals and see where um, the little ruffles and the little creases in those petals would be. So I've taken that darkest blue and I've expanded on the stamped lines, added more shading, more darkness in there to really make those pronounced. And now I'm going in with a medium blue and kind of not really blending that out, but going next to uh, the dark lines. And so after I get the medium blue all colored on here, and you can see I'm turning and twisting that paper to make it easier for me to color, then I'm going to shade an all over lighter blue to kind of blend all of that out together. Now for my little birdie stamp, I am using the same colors that I did on the Morning Glories. That way the whole card kind of um, just flows together. So I'm taking the yellow that I used in the center of the Morning Glory, a really deep blue to deepen up his little feathers and lines and details in his little chest and tail. And then I'll take a um, lighter blue. I believe this is the actually the medium blue that I used on the Morning Glories. And then I'm kind of blending all those together. You can see where I've added yellow to his beak and around his neck just to add a little bit of um, a different color there. And then you can see I'm going back in on those stamped lines because I wanted to make those even deeper and darker and then just adding those back in. Now that I've got my morning glories colored, I've got my little stamp done, I'm taking Gathered Twigs Distress Oxide ink and a big blending brush and I'm going right around the edges of my postcard to distress that and make it look nice and old. You can see where it's deeper right around the edges and then it's left just the craft cardstock in the center uh, towards the morning glories and then all of the little stamped details like the special delivery and the sentiment. So thankful for you. I'm going to do the same thing with the little bird just to age it a little bit. I'm just going to go right around the edges and add that uh, gathered twigs brown. And then once I get this all done, I can add my little stamp onto my postcard and it's going to be super cute just like that. Now I'm going to add my little postcard to this uh, solid colored cardstock. So this like baby blue. Before I do that, I am going to tie some jute twine around it. It almost is going to make it look like I have a lot of postcards that are kind of tied together, like a stack of them was kind of what I was going for here. And I want this card to be a little bit bigger than A2 size. I really wanted that baby blue uh, cardstock edge to stick out a little bit um, further so I get a little bit more of that color peeking out than just an A2 size card. So I did cut this a little bit larger and to do that I just folded my cardstock in half and then I'm going to place and just eyeball my little postcard and then I'm going to trim around the postcard and kind of even up all of those edges. So I'm just going to take my trimmer, put it into uh, put the postcard or my card base into the trimmer and then I can just kind of eyeball and get all of my edges pretty close. They're probably not absolutely exact all the way around but I eyeballed it and it was pretty close. I love how that baby blue cardstock really ties everything together. Now to finish this off because I can never leave well enough alone I'm adding some of the little postage images um, from that postmark stamp and die set, I'm adding this on to my finished postcard. I'm sorry about my head in the way there, but I added the little canceled line stamp there and the little um, where it's been dated by the post office. And then I'm gonna add this little flourish line 
up towards the little postcard stamp and then also towards the bottom underneath the so thankful for you. This is just a little extra. I didn't have to add that, but I just can't ever leave well enough alone here. I just keep adding and adding all these cute little uh, postage style images. So I'm going to add the next one right under here to kind of even out both sides. So the left is uh, even to the right. And then this little postcard is all finished. Here's an up-close look at the finished card with Dawn's beautiful morning glories. And of course, I love the little bird stamp. I hope you've enjoyed this first video of our Vintage Love Hop. Make sure, again, that you check out all the information in the description box below. And don't forget to check out all the amazing videos that our design team have put together for you. See you next time. Bye-bye.